Hello, guys. Hatred Elemental back once again with Draco Sotas here. Hi. And we're getting on to something a little bit different from what I've done in the past. To celebrate the release of the Insane Trilogy, I'm going to be going through the first three Crash games. But the original ones from the PlayStation, since unfortunately I am lacking both a PS4 and a capture card. Sadness. So, this is the best we can do. Don't get hit in the head with that thing! Back when video games were funny. Oh yeah. But in a good way. Yeah, I mean, funny video games are good, I, I like them. You know? And Crash Bandicoot is no exception. Oh, not at all. We need to wait on the title screen to get the story. I don't know why they did it like that, but eh, they did. There we go. Shh. But Dr. Cortex, we have not determined the cause of past failures. Moral! <laughs> this bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the Vortex! The Dr. Cortex, the Vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again. Capture him! Uh-oh. Prepare the female bandit. Alright, so if you found that a little bit hard to follow, basically, Crash Bandicoot is a test subject for... Uh, well, he was, no, he was created by Dr. Neo Cortex and Nitrous Brio to, you know, using an Evolve Array, and he was going to be one of the first one, he was going to, uh, gee, you tell it, Draco, you're better. Essentially, Crash Bandicoot is a super-evolved animal soldier created by Dr. Neo Cortex to be the general commander of his Cortex Commandos, which is an army of biogenetically engineered super animals to help him take over the world. But his training went awry, the Vortex was unprepared and it malfunctioned, scrambling crash his brain and causing... and he escaped the lab. Cortex, in an effort to get him back, is trying to use Crash's girlfriend, Tana, to lure him back to the lab. And so that's what the game is about, our journey back to Cortex's lab. To save Tana. Let's just get right into Insanity Beach, where the game begins. Basically, this is uh, the PlayStation's answer to Mario, in the fact that, well, you bounce on crates. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of, uh, platforming. We have base- we have a few basic maneuvers. We can move around, we can jump, and spin. That's one of our main forms of attack. Like so. We can either jump on something, or spin it. This is Aku Aku. He gives you an extra hit point, but... If you collect three of him without getting hit, you become temporarily invincible. He's actually the guardian spirit of Insanity Island. And in later games, sort of becomes like a mentor and or father figure to Crash. Also just want to say that this is regarded as one of the hardest video games in the 90s. This was, yeah, this was made in the 90s. Different song, but what have we got? we're invincible. We can charge through enemies without getting hit, without even being hurt. Whenever we get close to a box, it just explodes. And we get every single of those wampa fruits from it. Hit this box. That's never happened. Why did that happen? Why did that do that? What have we got? I want to get these. That's not happening. Ah, dang it. Off to a great start! Yeah, we are off to a great start, aren't we? This isn't a 100% run, so I don't really have to worry about it. Gimme that. What have I got? However, uh, 
How could I fail at that? How could I fail at that? I've done that hundreds, like, dozens of times. Ugh. Oh well. Pretty island, though. Oh yeah, it really is. Collect a hundred wampas, and you get an extra life. End of the stage, this is pretty much it. Jungle Rollers! I'm really used to having... to being... uh... pretty much invincible at this point. You know... at least becoming invincible once I collect this. And not later on. Because, ah... Why did I have to screw up so badly? Why? Also, we have a couple of new crate types. The trampoline in a box. And TNT crates, if you saw those earlier. And we also have these little tokens scattered throughout some of the stages. Collect three of them, and oh you get and you get taken to a bonus round. The TNT, if you spin it, it will blow up immediately and at least damage you. Whereas the Um If you hop on it, then well, you'll start a three-second timer, and it'll explode afterwards, obviously. That would have been an excellent chain reaction. Yep. Now this is a little puzzle. The puzzle that I'm actually really good at. But I get hit by the rolling discs of doom. And? Bonus round! Loading. Nice music. Simply titled, Tana. This is Tana's theme. And the first bonus round is pretty tame, pretty easy. Hi, Tana. So, question. Yes. If she's in the bonus round, and we can get to her in the bonus rounds, doesn't that count as us saving her? Uh, it should. I don't know. I guess it would be a pretty short game if that was the case. Yeah. Is it that was the case, or that were the case? I don't... Uh... Oh, well, got through it new death, so we get this screen. If we don't die in the stage, we either get bop, we either get crates, you know, dropped on our head, or we get a special gem. The special gem only comes up if we've destroyed all the crates in a level. Yep. And now, the Great Gate. What have we got? This is a particularly interesting one. When the game starts to pick up a little bit. But trust me, it gets a lot harder later. And already we have a Tana token. Go away, monkey. Might as well stockpile on lives while we can. Hey! What have I got? I'm invincible! Get out of here. Go away. And get rid of you. You'll see what they do a little bit later. They'll appear again. Don't worry. For now, bonus round! Again. Bonus round. Alright. Run! The physics in this game are so weird! We get two lives here! 
Thank you! Update save game. There we go. Send the turtle flying. And we're out of here. However, even though we got through it, no deaths, and we appear to have gotten all the boss boxes, we missed eight. <gasps> yeah, we need to come back to those stages a little later. Boulders! Simply titled, Boulders. Anyone, ever, anyone out there watch Indiana Jones, by any chance? Well... RUN, INDY, RUN! Also, I just want to say that Crash looks absolutely freaking terrified. Well, wouldn't you have that look on your face if you were trying to outrun a giant boulder? Well, yeah. But we've got a spirit guiding us through the woods. That spirit's not gonna do much against a boulder. So I know. Spirits. I almost screwed up there. It's really easy to do so, isn't it? Alrighty. Get out of here, Wampas! I don't need you! I want you, but I don't need you! Most precious of collectibles, I will hide and keep you and love you and touch you! I don't want you to touch me. Perfect. See? We get a gem. Mad skills. Upstream. Water level. Sort of. Yep, yeah, it's a water level. Hey! What have I got? Put that mask on! What have I got? And already we have a Tana token. It's strange because you move faster when you're invincible. I didn't notice that. So the timing changes a lot. Gimme all them lovely wampers. Doink. Get out of here, fish. I love the music in this game. Yeah, the music is really, really good. Nice and atmospheric, it, it fits the setting of each level. And it gets better as the games go on. Yeah. What have I got? What have I'm I invincible! What have I got? You cannot kill me! Well, you, those ones can. Oh. You can't hurt me, I have a plank on my face! I'm sorry, Aku Aku. It's strange how that works, isn't it? Yeah. Crash does all his own stunts! Even Tana's amazed. Alrighty. Like a mouse. We don't have very much farther to go. But we still have a little bit. Right here. Dunzo. Great, but you missed three boxes. That's gotta hurt. Oh yeah. It's even worse in the remaster. And now for the first boss, where after this, I'm going to be ending the episode. Papu Papu. You're a big fella. He is. Well, nice, uh, nice Papu. ass crack. <laughs> This guy is the chief of the natives on Insanity Island. And he definitely looks the part. There we go, got him. You celebrate. He's not too big a problem, though. No. But with that, 
This is Hatred Elemental and Draco Soda Zero signing out. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in Rolling Stones. Epic references, epic. Goodbye.